So one major thing I see people doing is, is creating links and they put images inside of those links. like a social media icon or something. We, we understand that we can see the Twitter icon and we're gonna to go to that page. But again, if a spider or an accessibility, a screen reader user goes onto that link, they're not gonna be able to understand that that is a Twitter link. We need to provide text we, those particular technologies need um, in, in a special way. Not necessarily where it's going, but also what they're going to achieve by navigating to that link, for example, read more. So here's an example here. Um, I've got like a little social media icon in my footer here. Um, and it's linking off to Twitter, but all it has is an image in there. So what I can do is if I add just, I mean, it can be any text element, but I think the cleanest one for me is just a, a text block. Um, if I change this to go to our Twitter page, change that to white just so we can see it, to our Twitter page. Now I've got my image and I've got my text. Now if I add my special SR only class, disappears and then when someone um, is on that link, you know, a screen reader user, if they're on that link, it will inform them where they're going to. So I hope that was helpful um, and understanding a few of the nuances with images and how important some of the unseen can actually be with your website. So um, again, if you want me to clarify anything, just leave a comment and I do my best just to get back to all the comments. And if, if, you, if you're stuck with anything and you would like me to make an episode about it, then I'll be happy to do so. Just again, just let me know. So until next time, Happy no coding.